cheers for talking to us. Uh, tale of two halves, really, I suppose, but an ultimately comfortable 4-1 win. How did you assess that? Yeah, like I say, um, we started on the front foot very well, first 10 minutes and when we got our goal. And then it sort of kicked them into life, if I'm, if I'm honest. And, you know, their style of playing, their philosophy and their structure, the way they've moved the ball around the pitch, make the pitch big, it caused us problems. And for the rest of the half, I'd say they edged it. And, um, you know, they got their goal. And we had to come in and do some work at half time on them. So, um, and frankly, yeah, we come out second half and uh, they listened to us, the boys, and uh, they done what was asked. Mm. What was the atmosphere like at half time? And I suppose what was said, because uh, we went in at one all and perhaps we had lost a little bit of control going into half time. Uh, what, what kind of words were, were you starting? Well, let's say it's, it's, it's just, just words of sort of you know tweaking things a little bit because, like, you know, as the front two were pressing, um, but they didn't have the back up behind. The, the, the gaps between the units were so big, and they were able to play in and around us and through us quite comfortable. So the message at half time was quite simply: get closer, get higher, squeeze up the pitch, and, and create the you know, shorter distances between the between the lines. And then when you when you do that, when you turn over the ball, you know, you, you're closer to their goal with one, and then you, they're on the back foot straight away. But um, everything happened in the second half as, as we wanted it to. Everything was tighter. And um, yeah, we kept them to you know, quite a few chances, really. That's uh, another game in quick succession, really, Saturday and Tuesday. So how impressed are you with the application of the boys without having had much of a sort of training session in between? Yeah, no, the boys are a good group. They're a good group. They listen. And uh, you say, it's, um, you know, they're fit lads, if I'm honest. You know, we got stronger as the game went on today, which was good, you know. Um, and we've got, we got, we have got some fit lads in there, so, but, um, yeah, no, we keep improving, we keep doing things right, and we, we keep moving in the right direction, and we get a few more results. We're up to uh, second now, uh, obviously Hornchurch uh, coming up at the weekend, uh, how much are you looking forward to that, and I suppose a chance to test, uh, test our metal against the current yeah, leaders? Yeah, no, it's, 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 you know, it's good to play against the, the top teams, that's what we plan for, and, you know, we went to Villa Rick and we've done really, really well, um, there's no reason why we can't go there Saturday and, and put performance on. And which, if you do put performance and, and get something from the game, we'd be really happy. Yeah. Two individuals as well tonight. Uh, George Sykes with a, a start and his first uh, goal in town colours. Um, and likewise, Joe Payne's hundredth appearance. Uh, what did you make of their performances? Yeah, good. Sykes, he's been good. He's, he's, he's looked sharp in training. He's just say getting the minutes in him to get him going, get him up and running. And some of his link-up play and his touches are good, which is um, you know, and he just needs them extra little ch chances now, and he'll, he'll, put, he'll put them away. And uh, Payne's second half, he was. Um, it was immense. I thought second half on, on our side, it was uh, it was it was a lot aggressive, more you know in, into the challenge, and he and he looked after the ball better, and he was getting higher up the pitch. And when he does that, he, look, he, look, he looks a good player. Yeah. I suppose all of them sort of looked as though they'd, they'd really up their level second half. It looked as though they were almost queuing up towards the end of the game. Yeah, no, the work rate is something that you know we've installed into them with the training that, and um, you know they're fit fit bunch of boys, fit bunch of boys. It's just that. You know, when you're closer together and you're running harder together, it's a lot easier. But when in the first half and you're, you're, you're running hard, but it's, you know, distances are too big to cover. You know, it doesn't matter how fit you are. You, if, if you play against a team that play on one and two touch and move the ball around and, and create the, make the pitch big, it's, it's tough for any team. But um, no, I was impressed with them tonight. You know, you know four-one scoreline. When you look at it, like say first half, you know, they give us loads of problems and. Um, yeah, we've we done, we done well to get the three points now. Certainly. And uh, is that a partnership up front that you're looking to build with, uh, with George and Marcus up front? Well, it's, 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 a part, it's, it's, it's good to have three forwards. You know, you've got to have three forwards, so you've got, you've got a few options to put on, the, on, on, on there. You know, you, you, you can have runners in behind, you can people coming short. And then you've got that with Sykes, so you get that extra bit at, at the box at both ends. You know, you can defend the box and you can attack the box. So, and Reece, of course. Reese, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's played slightly out of position tonight, but he done really well he coming off the line, and um, he had to put in his other defensive duties, which which was good, which he's experienced that. So um, we knew he could do that job, and um, yeah, no, he, he put a good shift in. Good. Thanks, Steve. Have a good week. No problem. Cheers, Gabriel.